we'll just start off with a little bit of a check-in. How you're how you're feeling in your body, and if there's anything that's um, well, for me, it's always the shoulders. I had a lot of anxiety and the depression this week, so it's been hard on my body. Because we have a really nice awareness to movement, shoulder, shoulder, arm, wrist realignment sequences. And like that. It's supposed to be really good for anxiety too. So there you, go. you can test it out. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. yeah, as you know, uh, I've spent 12 hours or so on school bus riding to go back city and back yesterday. So <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Good. Thank you. For me, it's the lower back and the back, and the right hand is the right side of the wall. This fatty area right there, for some reason, that was really stiff. Okay, so then I think what we're going to do is going to work out really well for everyone. As Andrew mentioned, he and I went to the climate action yesterday in Quebec City, so we spent uh, close to 12 hours riding on a school bus. So, <laughs> I also am very stiff in the joints, and um, I was not only sitting on the school bus, I was knitting a this incredible piece of lace knitted by my shoulders, and I'm still like a computer for hours and hours. So we're going to start off slightly differently today. We're going to start off standing up. And we're going to just uh, take a minute to pull your awareness inside. You can just lighten and close your eyes. Feel your breath. Feel your feet rooted onto the mat. This uh, mat is your space for the next hour, so it's an opportunity to kind of feel inside and get in touch with uh, the energy moving through your body. And we'll try to use some of that energy to relax and release across the shoulders. So we're going to start off by doing a three-part breath, which is focusing on the inhale. So we're going to inhale in three parts, and we're going to use our arms to open up body cavities. So first of all, we're going to take our arms out to the side, about this high. As we let the breath move deeply into the belly, and as the diaphragm drops down, you can feel your belly extending in the lower part of your abdomen, feeling going in there. Then we'll inhale a second portion, which will open the upper chest and the torso. And then we'll inhale right up over the head. And here we want to send the air into the area around the collarbones and up into the neck and throat. And then we'll just bring our hands down in a big, long, slow pace. So at your own pace, we just will take three complete three-part breaths. So we'll begin. We'll actually do four. We'll do one more so Andrew can do a full. Andrew in the middle can do a full one. And exhale. So now we're going to go through a very short sequence that was that is called rolling of the joints. And what we're going to do is move through all the articulations of the body. Joints in your body are places where bone is meeting bone. And there are three, basically three kinds of joints in your body. Uh, we can use the head as a good illustration. There are three bones in the head that are all fused together that don't move when we're adults, so those are immovable joints. You have semi-movable joints, and a good example of that is your jaws, where just the bottom part of the jaw moves, and the top part of the jaw stays fused to the skull. And then, of course, the neck, which is a movable joint and you can pivot the neck. There are seven kinds of movable joints, so we'll move through all of them. So we'll start off by just taking a moment, placing your left hand on your heart and the right hand on your abdomen. And just take three full, complete breaths, 
Feeling yourself present in your body. Feeling your chest expanding and moving inward with the flow of breath. Feel your abdomen moving. So feel your heart beating beneath your hand. And just get a sense of the energy moving gently through your body. And let your hands go down to your side. Tip your chin down toward your chest. Open your eyes. Make sure that your feet and legs are parallel. And just take a moment to look down and look over your body. And just be aware that there are trillions of cells in your body, each moving and performing function to keep us standing and breathing and moving through this sequence. Now very gently begin to roll your head around in a circle around your body. Hold it back. You might hear some crackling, clicking in the neck. And then the next time you come to center, pause, and then begin rotating the head. So the neck is a pivot joint that can go in a complete circle. And then come back to center. Open your eyes. And just take a moment to come back to stillness. And now on the inhale, begin to lift and roll your shoulders around. This particular sequence of joint articulation. If you do it nice and slowly, it will calm you down, get you ready to go to sleep at night. If you do it with a little bit more speed, it will wake you up. So I'm going to move just a little bit more quickly to wake myself up. And then when you're ready, reverse directions. You begin to rotate your shoulders. Each movable joint is encapsulated in a little uh, membrane sac, and the inner layer of this membrane creates fluid, which keeps the bones sliding nicely and softly against each other. So the more movement you bring into the joints, the more fluid and the more easy the movement is. Now bring your hands down to your side, just give them a little shake. Now we're going to take our arms up and make big circles with your arms. A little bit faster if you want to wake up. Try to make sure that your arms go back behind your ears so you're not just turning at the side plane, but you're actually going into the back plane. And then bring your arms down to center and reverse direction. This is relaxing in the shoulders and along the base of And then back to center. And this time we're going to take the right arm and we're going to move the right arm in a circle backwards. And then we're going to get the left arm going in a circle forwards. So we're going to challenge our coordination as well as our shoulder. Okay, and then stop. And then we'll reverse. We'll bring the right arm forward and the left arm backward. And then, yes. Take your hands out to the side and we're going to work on the elbow joints. Keep your hands nice and soft so you're actually getting some uh, movement in the gliding joints in the fingers and the wrists as well. So we're just going to flex and then extend. Bring your elbows in. Just nice, gentle movement. And 
cracking and going all over. And then bring your arms to the front. Let your wrist kind of flat down. And then bend the arms and bring the hands up. Just sit back and forth. Flex and hinge joints of the elbows. And Shape. Inhale the arms up over the head. Interlace the fingers. Turn the palms up toward the ceiling. Press the palms to the ceiling, looking up. Then bring your head down to look straight ahead. Now rise up onto your toes, lift your heels. Look up and press to the ceiling again. And back down. Bring your arms down to your side. Inhale your arms up. Interlace the fingers. Flip the palms to the ceiling. This time lift up the left heel of your left foot. And at the same time press the left heel of your left palm toward the ceiling. So you're getting kind of a diagonal stretch. And then back down. And then lift the right heel of the foot and the palm. arms down to the side. Inhale the arms up once more. Interlace the fingers. This time we're just going to inhale, push the fingers, the arms straight, and then just gently bend to the side and then up to the other side and up. Once more to the first side and up. Second side, up. Now take your pointer fingers and straighten them together. This to the Tara Bodhi Mudra. And then just gently inhale, push your hips forward and move into a very gentle back. You can let your head relax back. And then straighten, release your arms down. Just give your arms a little bit of a shake. Shrug your shoulders up to your ears. Take your shoulder blades back and around. And then just let your shoulder blades glide down the back. Once more, shrug your ears up to your shoulders. Move your shoulders toward the back of the room. And then glide down. And once more, up. going to bring our feet just about hip width apart, legs and toes pointing in the same direction. And we're going to begin to make circles with the hip joint. And we're going to keep this a fairly mechanical movement. So instead of moving like a, you're doing the Latin dance, we're just going to move the hips, keeping the feet and the head relatively stable. So basically use your hips to see how large a circle you can draw around your feet. Right. And then come to center in reverse directions. Back to center. We're going to just slightly bend the knees. Place the palms just above the knees and begin to make small circles. You might feel some cracking and popping in the knees. And then reverse to the opposite direction. Straight in the knees. Going to inhale the arms out to the side and exhale the arms down once more out to the side. 
This time we're going to bend the elbows, clasp opposite elbows, and then just very gently roll down. Let the weight of the elbows bend the knees. Let the weight of the elbows pull the head and the neck down. If you wish, you can straighten the knees. And let go of the elbows. Bring the hands down to the mat. Lift your heels and come down to a squat. So bend your knees and come right down to a squat position. Place your fingers out in front of you. Inside your knees. Put your fingers in that kind of spiral position that we've used before. And this time we're going to take our weight back onto our feet and then just rock forward onto the finger joint. So we're just giving a little bit of movement to the finger joints. And you can bring your hands in toward your feet. And we're going to turn the heels, turn the feet so that our heels are touching. Comfortable. Okay. Um, you can just, you can just go and kneel on your knees if that works. So all we're going to do is, I think this will work, we're just going to put our hands out forward and then put your hands about shoulder width apart. And then pressing your heels together, just take all of the weight onto your feet and your hands and let your head hang heavy. And give your head a little nod, yes. A little nod, no. Bring your head up. And just very gently walk yourself back to center. Up, over the head, and then gently down. Step your feet about hip width apart. And then we're just going to go from side to side. Breathing deeply. Some people like to use the hand on their back to give kind of a tap around the kidney area. You find this is energizing for the kidneys. And then just let yourself come back to center. Close your eyes. Just feel into your body, the energy moving. Open your eyes. Stand with your feet about hip width apart. Shift yourself so that you feel all the weight pouring into your right foot, right leg. Point the left toe, and then lift the left foot, and begin to make circles with your ankle, and then in the other direction. And then flex your toes up, curl them down, up, down, up, down. Really squeeze your toes and then down. And now we'll just have a little uh, check into our balance. So once more we'll pour the weight into the right side of the body, lift the left foot, and then just gently close your eyes. And take one deep. It's interesting how your balance becomes so much more challenged when you know, close your eyes. Center yourself and pour your weight into the left foot and left leg. Yourself ground down through the mat. Inhale. 
inhale, lift. Other leg and begin to make circles. One direction, working the ankle joints. And then in the opposite direction. And then work the toes by flexing and pointing, curving the toes. down. Take a moment to catch your breath. Shift the weight back into the left leg. Lift the right leg. And close your eyes. And exhale. Put your foot down. Take a deep breath. Inhale the arms up about shoulder height and we'll open and close the palms, exercising the wrists and the fingers. And then begin to make circles with the wrists. You can go in one direction or opposite directions, whatever your wrists fancy this morning. And then we'll begin to open and close the palms. Make sure you're opening and closing them completely while circling the wrists at the same time. And find a way that your wrists and fingers enjoy doing this. And then we'll just give the hands a little shake. We're going to focus on breath one more time, and this time we're going to do a three-part breath with the three parts on the exhale instead of the inhale. So we're going to just inhale our arms up, and then we'll exhale. So for our balance pose this morning from uh, Dr. Baxter Bell's balance pose of the week, the one this week is very interesting. He's got two names for it. He said he either calls it I Walk the Line or the Sober Tightrope. So you can decide which of these names. The Sober Tightrope. The Sober Tightrope. <laughs> You'll see it in a minute. What you do is you stand at the end of your mat with your foot halfway on and halfway off the mat. So your foot is divided down the middle. So probably your big toe and your first toe are off the mat and your other three toes are on the mat. Then you're going to take the other foot and place it in front of the first foot. Then you're going to walk to the end of the mat as if you were walking the tightrope, keeping half the foot on the mat Baxter says, don't be afraid if you fall off this tightrope because it's not too far to fall. But it's slightly more challenging than it would seem. And when you get to the end of the mat, take the top foot and go backwards. And it becomes The thing I love about Baxter Bell's videos is he falls all over the place. Sometimes he falls right out of the camera range. So, yeah. Good for him. He's a great, yeah. Who needs perfection? That's what he says. <laughs> and then once you've done that, go to the other side of the mat. Place your foot so that the opposite half is going to be on the mat. And repeat the same process of walking. You can see how your arms can become useful in stabilizing balance. And we also can become aware of how much more degree of difficulty is added when you're going backwards and you can't see what you're And then 
get to the end, you can be sort of a fancy dismount up here. That. And we'll just come back down to sitting on the mat. <clears throat> So now that we've done the rolling of the joints, which is our bringing fluid to the joints, we're going to now work on realigning them and putting the joints back in a nice, comfortable alignment. So we'll focus particularly today on the head and neck and shoulders, the upper body, and then we'll do a little bit for across the back. So we're going to start by going lying on your back. Just bring your knees up to your chest. Put your hands on your knees and just kind of squeeze your knees down into your upper body. And then just rock a little from side to side and release a little bit of tension in the lower back. And then bring your knees back down into the mat. What we're going to do next is we're going to roll over onto our side with the knees bent at a comfortable 90 degree angle. And take your right hand and place it, if you're not the bottom hand, and place it long from your body so that it's above your head, straight. So, the, so your lower arm is straight, going straight out from your head and neck, your palm is on the mat, on the ground, palm turned down, your ear is resting on your upper arm. Now take your top arm and put it out in a T-shape on the mat with the palm down, coming out from your shoulder. This is a movement from Feldenkrais, awareness through movement. So what we're going to do is very gently reorganize and realign the joints from the fingers up into the shoulders. So very slowly begin to slide your palm along the floor of the arm that's out at shoulder height and keeping your hips and your knees without moving Allow your head and your upper chest to roll toward the mat so that eventually your chest is down on the mat and you slid your palm out away from the body and then very gently slide the palm back and roll the top part of your body so you're back lying with your head on your arm. So just very gently go through this movement four or five times at your own pace sliding the palm out, rolling the upper part of the body towards the mat, off your arm. Taking a pause when you hold as far as you can, and then gently rolling back. And just continue at your own pace, rolling forward. See if you can coordinate the movement with your inhale and exhale. And next time your arm is back toward your body, just take a pause, take a breath. And then roll over onto your back. And just gently let your, bend your knees so that your knees are pointing toward the ceiling and the feet are planted on the mat. And just very gently let your knees and legs and hips rock from side to side. So just releasing any pressure or tension. And then just 
just gently roll yourself over onto your left side. Place your left arm straight out from your body. The palm turned down onto the floor. Knees and hips bent. Right arm at shoulder height. And begin to roll the right palm away from the body. And allow your chest and your head to roll. Keeping your hips your pelvis quiet. Gently roll onto your back. Inhale your knees up to your chest. Place your palms on your knees and then very gently begin to make some small circles with your knees, massaging them on the sacrum. And you can make the circles a little bit larger. This changes the contact of the back of the body with the mat. And then make the circle smaller again. Come back to center and then reverse direction, making small circles, feeling the contact of the back with the mat, the lower back is pressing into the mat. And then begin to make the circles a little larger. And then when they get as large as you can make them, start winding the circle down. Again. And eventually come to the center. Bring your palms to the side of the mat. And let your knees fall forward so that your toes are touching the mat. Just your toes. And then inhale your knees up. And exhale your toes back to the mat. <coughs> Excuse me, inhale. And exhale, just working the core. And then bring your feet to the mat. On the next inhale, bring your knees up to your chest. Wrap your hands around, your arms around your knees. And then very gently just start rocking along your spine, front to back. And very gently rock yourself up to sitting. Apologize for the coffee. So we're going to continue with our relining in the shoulders. So what we're going to do is we're going to inhale our arms up to the side and we're going to flex our hands. And we're going to turn the palms in and down and then back up. In and down. This is really wonderful for shoulder tension, carpal tunnel. And the trick in this is to keep your hands bent and flexed. So if you feel that you've moved to a point where your hands straighten out, just back off a bit. Just keep working in a little bit smaller range of motion. And you're in the middle, you can relax your shoulders. Make sure that you relax your jaw, relax around your eyes, so that your face is nice and soft. And then stop. Just keep your hands a little shaky. Now inhale our arms up again, flex the fingers, and then roll to the back and down and back. And again, uh, you want to keep your hands flexed so that you're actually it's moving in this plane. So if you find your hands straight, and just back. Now for the 
third act, we're going to bend toward the front and then right around toward the back. If it's simple, just stop. Let your arms rest a bit. You can just start off just actually moving just tiny little bits. And eventually the flexibility will come. And then bring your arms down to your side. Just Shake. <clears throat> so sit nice and tall, feel your sitting bones rooting into the mat. Inhale, take the left arm, place it on the right knee, and then just very gently slide the right hand around and follow it with your torso. Nice little twist. And then back to center. And switch. Smaller. Now change the crossing of your leg. So put whatever leg is in the back and the front. And we'll begin on the opposite side. Little twist. Then back to front. And then a little counter twist to the other side. And then once more. Clear side. Straighten your knees out and once again, just vertebrae by vertebrae, roll yourself down onto your back. Bend your knees so that your knees are pointing toward the ceiling and your feet are on the mat. <clears throat> We're going to continue with the three-part pranayama, the three-part breath work, but this time we're going to use our arms as we're lying in a prone position. So on the first inhale, we'll raise our arms up to about hip height. So the inhale, hip height, inhale, fingers pointing to the ceiling. Final inhale, take the hands back behind the head, and then exhale, one long, slow breath. So inhale, 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 exhale, inhale, This time as you inhale, press with your feet and gently lift your pelvis and your hips in three stages. So press, inhale, lift, a little higher, inhale, and then exhale and bring your arms and your pelvis down together. Pressing into the feet, inhale, inhale, inhale. Once more, inhale, 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 exhale. <clears throat> Press your lower back firmly into the mat. Lift your knees towards your chest. Wrap your arms around your knees and just squeeze your knees in towards your chest. And if you like, you can lift your head toward your knees, and then exhale, feet back on the mat. This time we're going to inhale the arms up in one long inhalation, so we'll inhale the arms up over the head to the floor, and then we'll exhale in three parts, so we'll inhale and then exhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
This time we're going to inhale in three parts and exhale in three parts. <clears throat> and as we're doing the inhale and exhale in three parts, see if you can figure out how it's comfortable for you to lift your hips and your pelvis and lower it. So moving in and out of the bridge pose as you're lifting your arms. So begin with inhale. On the next exhale, just rest in that. Take your arms out to the side of the mat, to the sides of your body in a T-shape. And very gently let your knees fall to the right. If you wish, you can turn your head and neck and look over the left shoulder. And then head the knees back to center. Inhale. And then exhale and let the knees fall over to the left. And turn the head to gaze over the right shoulder. Knees back up to center. Just move your knees slowly from left to right. Keeping the head still. And bring the knees up to center. And then very gently straighten your legs so that your legs are flat on the mat. Point your toes in toward each other. And then let your heels come together, move toward each other, and your toes point out to opposite. Bring your arms down to about a 30 degree angle away from your body. Make sure your, your heels are about hip width apart so they're not touching. <coughs> Roll your palms so that your palms are facing up toward the ceiling. Bring your awareness into your body. Now begin to focus your awareness on your breath, to the sound of your breath. So listen to the sound that the breath is making as it moves in and out. In yoga, it's often the focus of the breath becomes a mantra for calming the mind and pulling awareness inside the body. So the mantra of the breath we're going to focus on this morning is the mantra, so hum. It has many different translations in Sanskrit from I am, that I am, I am that, I am this, this is that, such is that. So we'll focus on it and the so being I and the hum being am. So I am. I'm present, I'm here, grounded, embodied. So the universal sound of the inhale is so. So begin on the inhale to hear this sound internally. So. And the sound of the exhale is hum. So as you exhale, internally begin to hear hum. So inhale so, exhale hum. So, hum. So, hum. Feel the soul on the inhale 
moving the breath from the nostrils down into the heart. You feel the exhale, the hum, moving the breath from the heart up through the chest, up toward the nose, and exhaling and leaving the body. So feel the soul glide down into the If your mind begins to wander, bring it back to the sound of soul. Feel your body resting within the spaciousness of the breath.
<clears throat> feel the breath begin to deepen in the body. Feel the inhale filling you with energy, oxygen, and the exhale moving that which no longer serves the body out and back into the Bring a little bit of movement to your fingers. Wiggle the joints of your fingertips. Make small circles with your wrists. Also bring a little bit of movement into your feet. Begin to roll your ankles in little circles. Clench and relax your toes. Inhale, bring your feet together. Bend your knees, bring your knees up to your chest, wrap your arms around your knees, give those trillions of cells a big hug, and very gently rock from side to side, eventually rolling over onto your right side. Make a little pillow for your head, and just take a pause for a moment. Feel the breath moving smoothly in and out of your body. Feel how the joints of your body have been stimulated. You should be feeling a nice sense of aliveness and relaxation at the same time. Moving slowly so that your head and your neck are alive thing that comes up. Use your arms to push yourself up to sitting. <clears throat> we'll bring our palms together at the heart center. Just allow your thumbs to just touch the skin just above the heart and make them pull up. Inhale to pure Nose down toward your heart. And then look up. And just turn and say namaste. 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 Thank you for practicing this morning. And go out and enjoy the beautiful.